This video demonstrates how to create a new user account in USASR. User accounts can only be created by a designated user in the district or by your ITC. In my example, a new high school secretary has been hired and she needs a USASR account and the treasurer has the ability to create new accounts. When creating an account, the secretary will be assigned a specific role that allows her certain permissions in the software, as well as an account filter, which will restrict the account she has access to. So under the admin option, I'm going to go ahead and click on the user. And at this point, you're going to see the existing user accounts on the system. In order for me to create a new one, I'm going to click on create. And the username is going to be sample underscore ms. The username is what the user will enter when they log into USASR. So and then I'm going to spell out her name and her title and her email. Next is the existing, is the assigned roles. So I need to assign one. The roles assigned determines what access level the user has program options in the system. If a role does not exist, what you can do is leave the window open and access the role options other the admin menu in order to create a role for this user. So what I could do, if I'm scrolling down here and I can't find the one that I want, I can just slide this box over and then go in to admin and go down then to role and create a role for her. However, in our example, there is an existing role. So I'm going to go ahead and select it and it's going to be high school secretary. So I'm just going to double click on it and it will pull it in. And the next thing then is creating an existing account, is assigning an existing account filter. So if I click on the down arrow and the filter is not in there that I want, again, I could slide this box over, this menu over, and go up to admin and select account filters and create account filter for her. Um, USASR allows for multiple windows to be open simultaneously. In our example, though, there is an existing account filter, so I'm going to click on the down arrow and sign high school secretary. So the account filter controls the financial accounts a user can create, read, update, delete, and process transactions against the system. So this high school filter rule will allow her to access all high school budget accounts with the exception of salary and benefit accounts. Same thing with the uh, assigned role. The high school secretary's assigned role is going to allow her to, to process requisitions, give her full requisition ask, access, modify, delete, uh, view requisitions. And then she also will have the ability within this role to view vendor data and also to create a purchase order report. So at this point then, if I had to put in anything else, I could, but this is the last option that I needed to assign. And I'm going to go ahead and click and save this. And if I did not need to make any changes, I could go back in and edit this, but I'm just going to X out of this box. And now I can view the new user account. Um, if again, I needed to go in and view anything, I could click on the eye icon. If I actually wanted to edit something in this user account, I click on the pencil icon. And if I want to delete this user account altogether, I can click on the X. One more step that needs to be made is assigning a password for this user. So I need to click on the lock box here. And it's going to ask me for the uh, password for this account. Default password settings are that it, it is case sensitive it has to be at least eight characters long, and one of those characters must be numeric. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that in. So like I said, these are the default settings. These settings can be changed by going into the module configuration option underneath the admin menu. 
go ahead and add a password. I'm going to keep it lowercase, makes it easier. And you'll notice as I'm typing it in, it's going to let me know if there are any errors in red. The new password and the verify password match, and it meets all the criteria. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Save. So at this point then, the user account is active and ready to be used. If the new user wishes to reset their password to their choosing, they can go into the Change Password option underneath the Utilities and change their password.